Hey guys, this is Emily Lopez and today I'm going to show you how to use a ram set to set your framing, the bases, into a concrete base if you're finishing your basement or anything on a concrete slab. So uh, put on your thunderwear and let's get started. If you're watching this video and it is helpful to you, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel right here. Um, like this video, comment, share with your friends. I am trying to grow my following on YouTube, so please, if this scratches your back, scratch mine and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also go follow me on Instagram at emily.a.lopez and you can see all of these little pieces come together in beautifully finished projects. So thanks again. Let's get to it. Bye. You're going to have to bear with me because today I do not have my tripod with me. I didn't think I'd be filming a video, but I think this is a useful skill. A lot of people finish their basements and don't know how to secure their bottom plates to the concrete. So um, I'm going to flip this camera around and show you what this looks like. Example of a couple nails that I have already driven in. Um, and so I'm going to do another one just to show you how, but basically what a ram set is, and there's different types, but this is one that you hit with a hammer is this is a tool that you put a nail, a special nail there. You put a little piece um, of, I don't know if you would call this, it's not a, a little bit of ammo. It smells like gum powder when you put it in there. So I don't know what the technical term is. They have different colors um, for the power level you need. So old concrete versus new concrete versus masonry. So make sure you look at the guide at the store when you get these. And then also different lengths of nails that will go in. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. So the biggest thing you want to be careful with when you're doing this is keeping in mind, this is like a live round and it can shoot anything that is shooting anything with a nail gun, with a brad, with anything, you always want to aim this away from yourself. So never, ever, ever aim this towards yourself or another person or through a wall where somebody could be on the other side of a wall. You want to be very smart and careful when you're using one of these. What I like to do is put my nail in first because I don't want to, once I have what drives it, which is putting this little guy in there, I don't want to have to touch this or put my hand around this again. So I slide this in part of the way just about like that. And again, I'm never aiming this at myself or somebody else. Then in here, I'm gonna take this piece and hold it in and then aiming it away from myself, I slide it down. Now you wanna be careful, that's not super locked in place. So if you slam that down, you can bump that out of place. So be careful as you're sliding again in, again, away from yourself and, um, and sliding it into position. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some safety glasses and some ear protection because this is gonna be pretty loud. And sometimes I don't get this on the first shot, depending on if I don't hit that because I'm, I'm sliding a hammer as hard as I can into that. But sometimes if you get a little bit to the side, um, it's not gonna go right away. The other thing is sometimes these get jammed and you never wanna, again, aim it at yourself or really have your hand in front of this when you're trying to problem shoot a jam. So I'm gonna move the camera so when I hit this, it doesn't knock it over. So I'm gonna aim this straight down and then I'm gonna take my hammer and strike right on the strike plate on the top. See, I didn't get it on the first try. And sometimes it goes in all the way and sometimes it doesn't. I might not have a high enough caliber um, to get the power I need, but then I can just hit it in the rest of the way. This is overkill here, but now I have these pieces that have driven this into the concrete, and then I can go ahead and level out my wall exactly how I want it and attach it on the ceiling.